guys, it's Margaret and I am bringing you my Amazon sales update for the month of February. I started off um, creating these in January and it, it went pretty well, so I thought, all right, let's do it again. Um, this way you can see just the kinds of things that I send up to Amazon and what kind of profits I get on things. Uh, so yeah, let me get started. My month of February, my um, fees and transaction fees and stuff like that, as many of you know, if you sell on Amazon, they take a cut, but it's worth it. So there were a total of, um, let's see right here, net sales, credits, all that kind of stuff was $632. And the fees and everything on Amazon, which includes the you know $39.99 monthly um, fee that I pay, and then also any kind of transaction fees, any, you know, if I ship in another shipment fees, all of that stuff comes out of that chunk. So $317.56 is what Amazon's cut was of everything. Um, but like I said, that also includes the shipping of uh, new shipments that I sent in, you know, the cost of all of that and everything else. So I earned $376.65 on Amazon this uh, in the month of February, which is okay. I mean, for me, it's pretty passive and it's, I mean, I sent in two boxes, you know, so this is all like a lot of it is thing, <clears throat> pardon me, things that have, you know, I've sent up previously and has sold over time. So here we go. Let me close out that little window. I don't think I'm going to need it again. You know what? I won't close it. I'll just wait. So again, I, I don't keep super close track. Maybe I should now that I'm doing these uh, sales updates, but I can kind of guesstimate what I paid for things. I don't normally pay more than $2 for books. Usually it's $2 or less for sure. Um, and then some of the thrift stores I go to, their kids' books are $0.10 cents and adults' books are $0.50 cents to a dollar. Just kind of depends. So anyway, this is a Dungeons & Dragons book that I sold. Um, I'm, the price I put on it was $25. Um, so after all of the fees and everything that have, uh, came out of from Amazon, the net that I got from this book was $17.99. This was not in that Dungeons & Dragons haul. Um, so I probably should ask my brother if he wanted it. Uh, next up is a children's book called Totem Pole. And this one um, I listed for $9.99 and it sold. And so my net off of that was $5.58. Now I had somebody ask me on the last video about one of the books. They saw this and they said, "How? Do, why did you price what looked like to them as a penny book for so high? Well, there are people that, you know, have penny books like so, but generally they're not um, fulfillment by Amazon. Usually those are merchant fulfilled and they have, I, I don't even know, I mean, there's a method to their madness, I'm guessing, because they keep doing it, so uh, they make money that way. But because mine is was FBA, I uh, didn't have a problem asking that price. Here, I'll pop this up real quick. So mine was a paperback. So here you can see these ones are, you know, where it says $3.99 shipping. Those are people that are merchant fulfilling, so they are fulfilling themselves. But if I click on free shipping, these that will bring up the ones that are fulfillment by Amazon. So if you had Prime, you would get free shipping um, on, you know, certain orders. So anyway, there were no fulfillment by Amazon. So basically, you could name your price. So... That kind of worked out for me. So here's a book called Learn Objective C. This was a, one of my husband's books. He's a programmer, computer stuff. Um, so I listed this for $19.99 and it sold for $13. Well, it sold for $19.99, um, but my net there was $13.34. This was an anatomy coloring book and I put this up for $9.99 and my net there was $4.84. Um, yeah, the fees are wiggly wiggly. So usually when I list something, I kind of guesstimate that I'm going to get about half. You know, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but that's generally my... This is one of my Tom Swift books uh, that I picked up in that haul. I sent in all those Tom Swift books and they've been selling off. Um, so I put him up for $14.99. And my net there was $9.48 on him. 
And this was a Bible, Order of the Rainbow. I showed this in one of my haul videos as well. Um, this one I put for $9.99 and it sold, so my net was $4.43. So a lot of books. A hole is to dig, a vintage book sold. I have so many vintage books. I'm, try I'm trying to figure, decide, do I want to go ahead and send them in? I mean, they're definitely, you know, they're waiting for the right person to buy them. But like I said, I have so many. <laughs> hole is to dig. I put up for $19.99. Um, Maurice Sendak is uh, an amazing author and illustrator. He, you know, is very well known for Where the Wild Things Are, obviously. Um, but many other things. But he also just illustrates um, other people's books. So, or he did rather. So, a whole list to dig. Um, so, my net off of this one was fourteen dollars and thirty-two cents. Next up were two um, JVC tapes, and these these were a camcorder, eight millimeter. So, I did not take that picture because <laughs> I know better. It's supposed to be on a white background. Um, but yeah, I sold these for $19.99, and I probably picked them up for a quarter or 50 cents a piece. And uh, so my net there was $14.32. And this was a little box called Lit Wit, and it had these cards in it with trivia and facts and things like that. Um, I sent this up for $12.99, so my net there was $7.77. <clears throat> and this one, the, there was not an image available, and I can't remember if I uploaded a picture to go with my listing. My kids are playing on the patio, so. Um, but this was one of those um, that was, I think, one of the spiral-bound ones. It says paperback. Uh, so there's not a picture to show you, but one of the, my grandmother's porcelain arts um, books. And so it sold, <clears throat> excuse me, for $44.99. And so my net there was $35.35. Porcelain arts, y'all. Big business. Ah, here's a Tiana doll I picked up. It looked like this. And I think I got this like at a Walgreens or CVS um, in the clearance or when they were marking down their, their toys, you know. Um, so Tiana, let's see. I sold her for $34.99, so that net me $27.07. And I like to pick up things that I find with Tiana or, um, uh, my brain just went, I'll, I'll think of the name later, but they're, they're really not too, you know, representation of positive African-American girls. Um, there's not as many options, and so I, when I find her, and my brain just snapped. I can't remember who the other one is. There's another one that I always pick up as well. Um, so, I told you about that one. So, Charlie Brown. This is a VHS. You're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. This one I, I listed for $6.99, which is surprising. Usually $7.99 is the lowest I will go. Um, so, my net there watch is $2.92 on this VHS. Here's another... Um, Charlie Brown, best birthday ever. I put up for $12.99 and that net me $8.02. The magic of Amazon. Ah, here is a J.R.R. Tolkien Silmarillion. I'm not sure I'm saying that exactly right. Um, but I put this up for $25 and it sold and my net there was $17.98. So Tolkien, always good. And then another um, super high resolution audio cassette tape sold. Let me see. I put this up for $9.99 and my net there was $6.45. This is a kid's book called Things That Bothered Farmer Brown. Um, so like I said, most of the time children's books, I pay 10, 25 cents, usually not over 50 cents if it's a paperback. Sometimes on a hardback I'll do a dollar or dollar fifty or something, but not too too much. Unless I know there's gonna be a good turnover. So uh, he sold for $7.99, which net me three dollars and ninety cents. And this I had two of these, and these were were <coughs> um they sat for a little bit, but I went to a garage sale. My husband actually spotted these before I did. They were Lego brick banks and uh, there were two of them so I bought them both sent them both in and I put $49.99 on them and 
this is, I think, the second one that has sold. Um, so my net there was $39.82. And I think I picked them both up for like a dollar or something like that at this garage sale. Yeah. And then here's that itty bitty Tinkerbell she sold. I put her up for $14.99. And sure enough, I mean, this is where I'm, I'm thinking, man, Plush really does sell on Amazon. So, um, so my net there was $10.07. So I have got some more Plush to send in. No, I, I, for me, I, I have to send in stuff that looks, you know, really good. I, I don't want to mess with my Amazon account because it's so easy. I mean, they take a they take a cut, but it's so easy. You know, once I send it in, I don't really do anything else. You know, they just take care of everything. So um, I put this Beanie Baby, and so some Beanie Babies will still sell. if you I scan them all um, because some are meh. And some are okay. So this one, there's a goat. There's like a goat that I've sold for $15, you know, and that's nice. Um, so this Beanie Baby sold $7.99. Um, so my net there was $4.12. And they're super easy to package up. You know, you get those little smaller poly bags and you put them in there. Easy peasy. Um, or however you do it, you know, there's different methods. Some people do sandwich bags and put the suffocation label on it, which is good too. So, anywho, yeah, check it out because different ones sell for different amounts. And then the ones that don't sell, I put in my, the ones that don't sell, the ones that don't command a higher price, I put in my booth for $5 a piece. And they sell okay there. So, um, did I sell two of those? Or no, I just opened the window twice. So, my net on this was $4.12. Um, I sent in another, this was a Bucilla you know, kit for a stocking. Um, and I sent this one up because there were none. And <clears throat> it's also, I guess mine was the only one up there. It sold for $49.99. And so my net there was $39.82. And then this was like a kit, like a kind of like a calligraphy, well, yeah, a calligraphy kit. Um, lettering and stuff. Uh, so this one sold for $44.99. My net was $34.56. And this, I got these, um, we went to an estate sale and it was obviously a, a scientist or engineer or something like that. Um, and when we were in the garage, nobody had opened the cupboards in the garage. There were these cabinets. And when I opened them, there were all of these like vintage navigational and engineering type books. And they were up on this shelf. And luckily, my husband was with me. And I was like, get me those books up there. So he did. He got them all down for me. And we had to take them to the people because they didn't even price them. I guess they hadn't really looked in the cupboards. Um, so yeah. So this book sold for $14.99. And so my net there was $9.47. If you're wondering, I have my my little window pulled up down here that's got all my stuff. Um, uh, okay, oh, I opened that one up twice, didn't I? Yes, I did. But I did sell another Tiana, so here she is. And she sold, again, uh, for $34.99. And so that net me $27.07. Um, and then this was a Hot Wheel that I sent in. This was... Yeah, uh, it was just random. Like, I scan them. So why not? Um, so this guy sold for $14.99. So my net there was $10.07. It's worth looking at, you know, if you've got them laying around. Especially they look, you know, this was a fancier one. It looked a little different. So, and I have some others that their, their listings are not up there. So we'll see how it goes. And then this was a Spanish book. You know, I always say, no, not Spanish. Um, it was in Polish. I always say, check the, you know, the foreign book section because, yeah, just because I did not get this price. My book was in bad shape, really bad shape. So mine was up at $8.99. <laughs> um, I guess I'm guessing I could have asked more. I'm trying to figure out now why. <laughs> why did I price like I did? Look at that. I don't know. Uh, maybe, I don't remember the prices being that high or I would not probably have sent mine in for such a low price. But anyway, $8.99 is what I put on it. And so my net was $4.75. And I probably paid a dollar or less for it. So 
This was another children's book. It was one of those time for kids type of books. Um, and it's the book of the Jewish year. And it sold for $16.95. And that net me $11.52. And then this was, I picked this up at a garage sale, or, or was it at a thrift store? I can't remember. It was still bagged, and it had the barcode on it and everything. It was still, you know, sealed up. Um, and it's a little tail and dress-up little thing. So, I, uh, again, when I sent it in, there were none available. So I put $17.99 on it, and it sold. So my net there was $12.75. I think I paid a dollar, maybe 50 cents for it. Not a lot. And last item that sold was this uh, another vintage children's book, Four Seasons for Little People, and it sold for $9.99, so my net was $5.60. So, like I said, my net that I ended up bringing home after all the fees and everything was $376.65. So, I, I know that's not a huge amount of money, but for the amount of work that I put into my Amazon, I think it's pretty good, because like I said, I sent in two boxes the week that Tanya and I did the Amazon challenge, so it was not even, you know, it was a really small deal. Um, so a lot of these things have been selling from previous shipments that I've sent in. So like I said, and I also have a bunch of stuff that I need to get sent in. Um, it's just a it takes time, you know, and there's, when you're juggling eBay, Etsy, I'm just rambling. But anyway, like I said, I'm happy with it because... It's really, you know, like they say, kind of a passive income. Once you front load it and get all the stuff sent out, you don't really have to do much but just enjoy the checks that come in. So that's my February sales update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips for how you'd like to see it go and, you know, be more beneficial for you or if you just enjoy seeing what actually sells, what, I, what kind of things I send in um, to sell. Okay, that's it. All right. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Make sure you go out and enjoy yourselves. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Um, and I will see you tomorrow because tomorrow's a weekly sales update. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.